Hi everyone, Stacy Weider here on behalf of Campus Mortgage with part two of a three-part video series on Fannie Mae's Day One Certainty FAQs. Now just a quick reminder before we get started, this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered legal advice or used in place of Fannie Mae guidelines. Also, this video was issued on November 20th, 2018, and the information contained in this video is subject to change without notice. As we've already discussed in part one, day one certainty is also known as the DU validation service, and it's for conventional Fannie Mae loans, and it allows the lenders to validate a borrower's income, assets, and employment faster and easier with less documentation. So let's continue on with some additional FAQs. So what's the cost? There is actually no cost to the lender from DU to use the validation service. However, the lender should contact any vendors that they're using to discuss any pricing for for obtaining the verification from the actual vendor, but there's no cost from Fannie Mae or DU. So can lenders select which option to utilize? This is an important FAQ here. So the lender may utilize whichever service they want to use opting in when they're opting into the DU validation service. So um, they can activate income and employment that's going to be done at the same time um, or they can activate income and employment and assets or just assets or just income and employment. And lenders may also choose um, which one they want to do. They can just use the income employment service alone by itself or they can use assets alone or they can use all three. So there's definitely flexibility flexibility there for the lenders. So what types of income can be validated? Well, let's take a look at that. So we can see here, uh, this document is directly from the Fannie Mae uh, website, and it shows here what type of income, income can be validated. So we can see here that base pay, bonus, overtime, commission less than 25% of the total income, and commission greater than 25% of the total income can be uh, validated, um, automated or manual, through the, through the DE validation service. Um, but also, uh, you can see Social Security, retirement, and self-employed income can also be validated through the DU service, but that's going to be based on the tax transcripts information. So it's not just for base pay, straight salary income. It does include most other income types. And the next in question is, can lenders use DU validation on QM loans? The answer is absolutely yes, that they can. Um, some people may get confused because um, part of being a QM loan is that you have to validate the ability to repay those eight factors, underwriting factors. So um, this does qualify for that. So it is eligible for QM loans. All right, that concludes part two of this three-part video series. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you check out part three. Have a great day. And for more information, please check out campusmortgage.org to look for their weekly mortgage video tips designed for all mortgage professionals, designed for underwriters, loan officers, processors, closers, and post-closers. We'll see you next time. Thanks.